Happy Vlogmas, everyone! What are you doing? What on earth? They're frozen. They're frozen? But they come from the North Pole, they shouldn't be frozen. Ah! Right, Spud, I you Sven? Sven. Is that Sven? Christoph. Christoph. But people smell better than reindeer, Sven. Don't you think that I'm right? <laughs> Sven's a reindeer. Ah, okay. That makes sense. Oh, no, magic's a reindeer. <laughs> That's so cute. Look at the babies. Is that not Minecraft? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Olaf, mistletoe. Hi, I'm Olaf and I like warm hugs. Oh. Oh, I might have guessed Elsa would be Elsa. The cold never bothered me anyway. And um Jingles. <laughs> Snap crackle and pop weren't part of Frozen. And really really Do you think Jingles is miss getting up to mischief? He's like, I'm not going to be the same as them. I'm going to be part of Snap, Crackle and Pop and I'm going to make a mess. Thanks for that, Jingles. What are we on now, Brooke? What are we on now? Six. Six? No, tell me. How do we sing it? No. How do we sing it? No. <laughs> Six days to go around us getting his ear drops. Oh, good boy. So what is it in here? What number are we at? Six days to go, six days to Santa. <laughs> Good morning, Zana. Hello, big kiddo. Right, number 19, Brooke. Oh, that's a fun shape. What you got? Cookie Mix. <gasps> Cookie Mix, let me see. Wow, and a gingerbread man cutter. Yay, I love gingerbread men. Hope they have icing. I have, remember? Oh yeah. I got chocolate orange and gingerbread icing. I haven't even got the same as me. Oh, it's the same shape anyway. It's cool. Is it gingerbread? Yeah. I think it's just cookies, is it not? Did you not say it's cookies? It's a gingerbread man, but I don't know if it's actual gingerbread dough. Sugar cookie mix. Sugar cookie. Mmm. Briefcase wanker. Briefcase wanker. Is it another Lumos or is yeah. it? Is it? Molly! <laughs> They've not been very imaginative, have they? Good though, we can never have enough pencils because you're always losing them. Right, so day 19 now of my advent swap. Look at the lovely paper, that's gorgeous. Right, straight off, I have to go for this one because I love gingerbread men. Look! Oh, he is amazing. Look at his googly eyes. He is so fab. And look at his blingy buttons. Oh, I just love him. From gingerbread to Cupid. Oh, look at the detail in that. That's amazing. Cupid, draw back your bow and let your arrow flow. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Oh, chocolate, chocolate. Yay, kinder. Love kinder. Oh, felt butterfly. That's gorgeous. I love the two layers. That's so nice. This was this is a pussy cat. Oh, it looks so much like Lomond. Oh, yeah, it does. It looks like Tracy's kitten Lomond. Oh, that's going to have a special place in my heart, that one, Laura. Hmm. Look at Santa with the parcels on his head. I love that. Wow. That with Mr. Gingerbread Man on the card. Perfect. <gasps> now we all need some of that retail therapy. Yes, please. <laughs> Can't wait till the January sales for some retail therapy. Hopefully the shops will be open. A lovely blank banner. Perfect. It's a coffee cup, but look at the paper. Oh, look at the paper it's made out of. That is beautiful. I like that. <gasps> Oh, we've got a glittery Christmas tree. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, thanks so much again, Laura. I love everything. 
Okay, day 19 of my Milky Bar Advent Calendar. Brooke's here with me. What do you think is going to be in my Advent Calendar? What picture or shape? Chocolate. I know it's going to be chocolate, Mr. Genius. <laughs> Mister! Sorry, Mrs. Genius. Um, what shape do you think and what picture? Reindeer. A reindeer. Right, let's have a look. Oh, the picture is a star, but it's the Milky Bar Sheriff star rather than the Christmas star. A rocking horse. Hi everyone, welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland and Vlogmas Day 20. <gasps> We're in the 20s. Oh my God, can you believe it's nearly here? Santa's nearly here. Ah. Oh, I just love it. I love it. So I hope you're all doing well. As you can see, these elves got up to mischief again today, especially Jingles. He is making up for lost time, isn't he? I don't know. Um, and the girls both got a cookie mix for their advent. So hopefully we will make them tomorrow and that will be another Vlogmas video for you. But today's Vlogmas is going to be showing you how to make hot chocolate bombs. Now, hot chocolate bombs have completely taken over the internet this year. I'm sure you've seen them. Basically what it is, is a chocolate shell and inside it there's hot chocolate powder and marshmallows and sometimes anything you want really, a bit of sauce or whatever you, you want. And we did want to make them, however, looking at the ways of making them, it just seemed so complicated because you had to melt chocolate and then put it in a mould and get it all smooth and cold and oh, it was just such a hassle. Then Abby came across a video showing you that you can make them with Kinder Surprise Eggs and I thought brilliant idea that way you've already got the shell all you need to do is fill them melt them together and ta -da, there you go so that is what we're doing for you today in Vlogmas but as you'll see we discovered that it's not quite as easy to open the Kinder Shells as we thought it would be and there were a couple of disasters but if you try it, stick with it because it's definitely worth it the outcome was amazing um, I do say that it's not something that you would do for yourself on a, a, a regular basis because it is quite a lot of hard work but as a gift or as a little treat now and again it's fantastic and it's definitely something that we will be doing again in the future and the other thing that I want to say is I didn't have my teeth in when I was filming this so I tried to keep my face away from the camera as much as possible in case you wonder why I'm doing this a lot um, any time that my face is in shot, I will try to put a Christmas sticker over my lips so that nobody's seen my gumsy face because it's not attractive. But um, yeah, so in case you wonder why there's a Christmas tree or whatever over my face, that will be what it is. Right, so let's get into it. I'll show you how to make, or me and the girls will show you how to make really easy and tasty hot chocolate. Got a kinder egg each and you also need hot chocolate. So what hot chocolate are you using, Abby? Belgian chocolate. Abby's using the Belgian chocolate options. What are you using, Brooke? White chocolate, White chocolate options. options. I'm going to use the gingerbread hot chocolate and gingerbread beanies coffee. So mine is going to be a mocha bomb <laughs> and we're all going to put some little mini marshmallows in. Carefully open our Kinder Egg and hope that they're not nice. broken. That's smooth chocolate. Yum yum. How do we, as you can see it's got the seam around it and that's the seam that we want to basically Cut. break without breaking the rest of the shells. Oh, it's not as easy as it looks guys. <laughs> I told you it wouldn't be. We have got spares in case we need them. Oh, 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 oh here we go. Yay! So I basically just delicately sort of sawed along the crease like Abby is doing and then I used the point of the knife just at one bit to um, to just make it pop. Prying it open. You, you think it's open but then you realise you need to get through the second layer of chocolate. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. Like oh, there we go, there we go, yay! Okay, right, Brooke? You want us to do it or are you nope. doing it? I'm doing it. Very careful. Wow. Rick's <laughs> <laughs> broke hers already. <laughs> Just to let you know, I got these eggs out of Aldi. So in Aldi, they were £1.89 for a box of three. And in Asda, they were 85 pence for one. So definitely cheaper out of Aldi. 
Again. Ready, take over. It's not perfect, but it'll do. So that's a hard bit over. Now we're going to fill our bombs. So I am going to put a, oops, a teaspoon of the oh gingerbread God. coffee in. And I'm basically just going to fill that side up with the gingerbread hot chocolate. Right, Abby's tipping her options into one half and Brooke's tipping her options into the other half. Eh, her, one of her halves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can get the whole packet of options in. There's mine. Show them yours. There's Abby's. And there's Brooke's. So the other half, we're going to put a few little marshmallows. Now you don't need to put the marshmallows in if you don't like them. Oh. It's up to you. Oh my god. Abby has got a mint chocolate biscuit out of her drawer and she's just taken some of the mint chocolate off to add to hers. <laughs> and no one else is doing it because I've not got a lot of these biscuits and I'm savouring them. Right, Brooke, you put the marshmallows in yours. So I put marshmallows in the other side. Oops. I'm only reading a few because I don't really like marshmallows. Okay. No. Just very gently going to melt the chocolate round about the marshmallows. Now please make sure that you get a grown up to do this if you're young. I'm now going to see if I can stick them together without everything falling out. Or why don't you just put them on without and then melt round the side? Ah, that might be an idea. Who's smart? Abby's smart. Well, so Abby's not smart. That didn't work that great, so what we're Abby has suggested is that we put them together this. and then melt round the outside, right? We do it, Abby. Then once it's melted, smooth it with your fingers. See? Well done, Abby. Good thinking. If you're doing these as a gift, yeah, but maybe you, should you would then let the chocolate cool to make sure it's properly sealed and then package it up nicely, whatever way you want. Maybe just get like a, a little cellophane bag and then pop it in a nice box. And if you are giving it as a gift, I would print off instructions so that the recipient knows what to do with it, okay? Abby's melted Brooks, so Brooks going to smooth it down now. So, it's up to you how you do it. You can put milk in a jug, heat it up in the microwave, and then you can either put your bomb in a mug and pour the milk over it and watch it all dissolve, or you can put the milk in a mug and then, and then add your bomb to it. Or you can also, like we've got a coffee machine that makes hot frothy milk, so rather than putting it in the microwave, if you want, you can put it, um, you can use the hot frothy milk from a coffee maker. Well, we do it all three ways. Yes. And we've got our matching initial mugs here because they're a good size. So you do need to make sure that you leave room for the bomb. Right, I'm going to heat this up for a minute or so. So mine is slightly messy because I tried to do it the other way first, but it doesn't matter because it's just about to get used anyway. Obviously you would try to make it neater if you were giving it as a gift. But I'm going to try putting mine in the mug first. And then we'll add the, the milk to it. Right, so that ended up being in for about two and a half minutes. Right, Abby, do you want to pour it over and I'll film? Right, look that's, at that's it. enough. That's look, enough. look at it. Oh wow! <gasps> oh look! Look at all the marshmallows! Oh yum yum! Mmm mmm mmm! That is going to be one tasty mocha. 
look at that. I'd say probably 250 mils of milk each. Wow. While we're waiting for Abby's milk to heat up, we're going to do Brooks. Brooks going to use the hot so frothy one. milk from the machine. That one? Yes. And um, she's going to add her bomb to the milk. Right, so there's Brooks hot frothy milk. In goes the bomb. Oh, it's very frothy. You're going to tap it with your spoon and see what happens? Mm, it's it all came out. You can't see it because of the froth. Oh, wow. Looks not going to get any water. Nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my mocha is delicious, by the way. Really, really good. Look, there's mine. Right, Abby, let's go for it. You definitely get the effect more without the froth. Yeah. But you'll get the flavour with the froth, you'll get the texture. Oh, how amazing does that look? I wonder if you'll taste the mint in it from your mint chocolate. Oh, oh she's adding that she's dunking the biscuit. Is it nice? Can you taste the mint? Yes. Yeah. Oh, fab. So you can use whatever hot chocolate you want and like I say, adding the, the gingerbread coffee to it to make a gingerbread mocha has been delicious. So give it a go, see what you think. So there you go. If you've ever fancied trying them but thought it was too much hassle, get a Kinder Egg and go to Aldi because they're much cheaper than anywhere else. Right, so it's time. And by the way, I've just noticed that I look like I've been crying and I haven't. I've had a coughing fit and I'm tired. <laughs> so if I look like I've been crying, I'm, honestly, I'm not. Everything's okay. Um, I just noticed that there. I thought my eyes look really, really red. It's tiredness and coughing. Right, crazy Christmas karaoke time now. Yesterday was a good one, wasn't it? It was Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and I just love him. So it was, then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa. Brooke just told me to shut up. Oh, Brooke, just because you won't sing. <laughs> then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? So that is yesterday's answer. Today's Crazy Christmas Karaoke is from my favourite ever Christmas song, which is the Michael Bublé version of It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I love that song. But the lyrics are quite tough for this karaoke, so let's see how many people get it right. A pair of hop-along boots and a pistol that shoots as a wish of Barney and Ben. Dolls that are talking will go for a walk. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mom and Dad can hardly wait for school to start again. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I love that song so much. Lyrics are a wee bit tough, but I'm sure you'll get it. Right, that is everything for Vlogmas Day 20. I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, please hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to talk to me in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 21. Thanks everyone. Bye. Remember to be kind to each other. Santa's watching.